Hey guys, I'm Hoshka, and welcome back for part 13 of my beginner's guide to Halo 5 speedrunning. This series is intended to point you in the right direction if you find yourself interested in learning the run. This is primarily targeted towards easy runners, which most of the routing will consist of. But I'll share some legendary tricks from time to time just in case you've thought about trying, or are generally curious. So, let's continue with the game's 13th mission, Genesis. The beginning is pretty straightforward. Once you land, the objective is to make it down the Guardian. You'll find it quickest to jump while utilizing your stabilize and ground pound, and thrusting before you drop the fist rather than sprinting through its entirety. Once you're on the ground, sprint over to the door. Wait until the chief starts talking before you enter the hallway, as it gives you a dialogue skit. You know you got it if his dialogue goes to static once entering the building. Now, we just ride the elevator to the next area. There is a way to skip the elevator that can save you 6 seconds if optimally executed, but I wouldn't recommend it for a full game run. To execute, follow this series of clambers. Once you reach this point, sprint, jump, and stabilize to clamber on this edge. Look up, jump, and hover to clamber on this edge. Thrust after the clamber to propel yourself onto the roof. Run down here to get around an invisible barrier, then run up the ramp and clamber here to make it to the top. Once up here, sprint, jump, thrust, and hold your ground pound to get atop of this structure. Thrust over if need be and try to drop at the front of the door, as dropping behind that causes some weird floaty gravity stuff. Once you land, head back to this corner and wait until you get the cinematic bars. If you're past this point, the game will teleport you back inside the doors and all of that would have been for nothing. Once through the doors, on Legendary, you're prone to take a lot of damage. To avoid that, once you grab this ghost, try to bypass these guys and head for the ledge. Exit your ghost and run up the ledge and up this ramp. Once on top, attempt to ground pound on the front end of this exiting phantom. Any further back and you'll miss or get splattered. Now sprint, jump, thrust, and ground pound onto this phantom. Be sure to stand on the nose to get through a barrier. Now, we just want to sprint, jump, thrust, and ground pound here, then walk a little further to get back into the map. Once on the ground, just backtrack a little to trigger the load and continue. For easy, it's nothing nearly as complicated. Grab this ghost as we did before, and follow this path. We'll loop around these rocks to trigger a load. And since we're on a timer, we'll head over here to trade out our boring ghost for an ultra, which will greatly help us in the end fight. Through the door, past some enemies, and now we're here at the light bridge. Watch out as this ghost likes to troll you here. Just aim in this general direction and boost on the ramp while pulling your nose up to cross the gap. I'll warn you, there's an invisible barrier somewhere in this vicinity, so try to stay left during this jump. Regardless, it beats waiting for Exuberant to activate the light bridge. Now, just head this way to the final battle. Be sure to stop for a second on this ramp to properly load the spawn triggers. Now, we just want to kill the Wardens, and this is where the Ultra comes in handy, as it fires explosive rounds on impact. So, fire on him till he's stunned, then go behind him and aim for that weak spot. Repeat process for the second Warden.
then head to the back of the area to end the mission. A nice short mission and a fun one once you get the hang of it. Once again, I'm Hoshka, and join me as we look through another combat-heavy endeavor, a mission known as The Breaking.